Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, what you're looking at here is Mark's L head. Um, now Mark's block has been giving me some trouble. And I thought I was going to have to sleeve this guy, but uh, I, I took it 60 over yesterday. And I'm hoping to get it. I started honing. And let me get you in on number one there. We got just a couple specs in number one to get out. We got two thousands left on number one. Number two, <clears throat> we got a thousands left to take. And number three, a thousands. And number four was the worst one. You see that shadow in there? Okay, you can't feel that with your finger, so I'm hoping. I've got two thousands left to go on that. Uh, if I can get that, uh, obviously, Mark, I'll save you uh, the cost of sleeving this guy. Uh, I did think there was a problem in number one. It looked like there might have been a crack. I pressure tested it. There was not a crack. Uh, it was just uh, from boring. The, the, the boring uh, cutter left a scratch in there. But uh, it's honing up real nice. If I can get number one cleaned up and number four cleaned up, uh, I've got some 60 over pistons here. We're going to start fitting those. And then your engine... Uh, I'll give it a three angle valve job. I didn't do that yet just in case I had to sleeve it But um, if the 60 overs go in there good, we'll do a three angle valve job Clean this guy down and we'll be ready to assemble it and assemble it to your transmission and uh, It shouldn't be long now and hopefully we'll be able to clean this guy up Okay, Mark, I've got all your pistons fit one, two, three, four, and it was about a half thou variation on each cylinder with those pistons. Um, those are 60 over silver lights that I'm going to put in your engine. Uh, you know I like to use silver lights. I think it's probably the best piston out there for these early engines. And here is your cross hatch hope the lighting's okay if you can see it in there number one which I was worried about cleaned up beautifully two and three are perfect and remember I was talking about number four that had a lot of wear in it I'll try and get you in there there's three little tiny dots that you can't even feel with your fingernail right at the top where the rings aren't even up there is the only area that I wasn't able to clean up perfectly and it's not worth going over uh, with an 80 or a sleeve which I thought I was going to have to do but uh, that bore is perfect each piston was hand fit like I always do and I have it kind of uh, just sitting I've got a chain a hoist there because it's just getting to be a pain um, putting those blocks in there. It's tough on the back. So I just got a chain uh, hoist there that I lift them up with and put them on the engine stand. I'm going to let that drain. There's a lot of oil in this. It's really dripping. I'm going to let that drain for a little while. I feel good now about continuing on with your valve job. Once the valve, uh, 3 anvil valve job is finished, Mark, I will uh, assemble your engine and then assemble it to the transmission transfer case. And um, I don't know if I'm starting this one for you or not. I don't know what you want to do. Um, I don't have the starter or the generator or um, some of the accessory pieces. I don't know how far you want me to take it. So if you watch this, um, just get a hold of me and let me know what you still have at your house. And um, what I'm, I'll let you know what I'm missing here. But uh, I can start this one or I can crate it up and ship it to you when I'm, uh, when I'm finished with it. So, just let me know. Okay, guys. While well, Mark's engine is draining, uh, I'm going to get busy grinding a crank here. I've got a uh, F-head uh, four-cylinder. And I already turned the mains, or ground the mains, 30. Number three... And number one came out okay. The middle one. This is right where the, the hollow is in the bearing. And 
this engine got some moisture in it, so it made a rust line there and there. And like I say, that's right what a hollow is on the bearing. Um, some guys would leave it. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take this to 40 right now, and if I don't get it in 40, hopefully I'll get it in 50, and that's as far as I'm gonna go. I don't take them past 50. But um, like I say, number one and number three are gonna have to be done again. So, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. You never know what you're gonna get. But that number two is kind of terrible. I don't feel it's worth welding. I think I can get it. It's just under the surface. Uh, I think I can get it at 40, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys, that's my first plunge in. And then we'll sweep, we'll move over, we'll plunge in again, and then, then we got about a half thou, we'll make a sweep across the whole surface. And we're just letting it spark off right now, and uh, we'll make another plunge. Okay guys, there we, there we are with the first plunge. You can see, we just cut this area, and hopefully we'll get that in our next plunge. We are about a thousandths off from... Uh, 40 under and we'll take bring this down to the same size and then we'll go another half thou we'll sweep and then we'll final put the final finish on with the belt polisher we'll leave a half thou for the belt polisher okay guys got all the mains done I tried bringing them in at 40 but it just didn't clean up uh, the center one here, number two. So I'm, I'm at 50 right now, and I'm actually at the low side of the oil clearance. So I'm at, uh, let me see where I came in, two inch, 283.1. So the spec on that would be 2.283.1 to 2.284.1. Two and to clean up number two, I had to go all the way down to two, two inch, 283.1. Uh, same thing on the rear. Uh, this one just cleaned up. But I have those cleaned up now. Uh, I have another early crank to do. I have that Hercules crank to do. Uh, I got another M38 engine in, uh, Travis's engine. And I'm going to look at his crank, and while I'm set up um, right on center, uh, I like to do all the mains. So I'm going to pull this guy out, I'll probably dress the wheel again, and uh, I'll get all the mains done on all the cranks. And no sense in offsetting for the rods, and then having to come back and do, you know, set up for the mains and then the rods again. So I'm going to do all the mains, I've got uh, three... Four. I've got five to do, so um, nothing exciting about the mains. When I get to the rods, I will show you the setup on that if you want to see it. And uh, we'll grind all the rod journals at one time. So that's about all I have for you today. Um, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.